Hello my friend. Welcome to Dorothy's Kitchen. I'm here cooking up a hot dish with Honesty. Honesty is my granddaughter. She came to spend the summer with me. And I know sometimes you uh, walk into this grocery store and you see these, this is collard greens. And you probably say, uh, I don't know how to cook collard greens. So I'm going to teach you how to cook them today. Me and Honesty is having uh, a collard green cookout today. So the first thing you want to do is, I don't like these stems. So you want to cut the stems like so. Cut all the stems off like this. The long stems off. You see? Just cut them off. And then, uh, I'm going to show you how, see, all the long stems, just cut them off. Just discard them. And I'm going to show you how to cut up Cut up, you don't you don't want to cook it whole like this. Some people cook it whole. You don't want to do that because uh, it's um, it, it don't look good. It's not appetizing. So you you take a knife and you cut them like this. See see how you cut them? You make them small like that. You cut it like that. You cut it up like that all the way. Cut the whole whole thing up. Now. Um, you, if you, you, for, for a, a family of four or six people, you need about four bunches. You know, for two people, you need maybe one or two bunches. Because, you know, they don't, they don't wither and cook down and, and, and disappear. They usually stay the size that, that you, um, you know, that, that, that you bought it. Like, so the, these here, this is these. This is one of my favorite uh, greens because when you have a when you have to make a lot. See, I see this. I don't want this. So I put it here. When you when you ha when you have uh, when you have to a big uh, family like at Thanksgiving time or Christmas time, you you these are good. This is very. This is a very good vegetable to have. And see how it looks. So what you do is after you get it all cut up, you put. I have a double sink over there. So what I do, I put my uh, greens in the sink, and then I wash them. I wash them about four times. I wash two times in, on each side of the sink. I wash the greens, put them in, in the other side, and then uh, wash them over that side and put them on that side. And then when the sink is clean, it is no, um, no grime or no dirt, then you know the greens are clean. And so uh, you... you um, uh, you put them in, you get your big pot, you put them in the pot, and then you have a flour, um, I'm sorry, you have black pepper, you have salt. I, I remember I, I'm a, a stickler for garlic salt. Garlic salt and a little hot pepper if you want to. And you put, you put the water on top, make sure the water goes on top of the greens. When you put the greens in your pot, make sure you have enough water in there that it, that it covers the greens. And a key to, um, Soft, tender greens is a pinch of baking soda. Just a pinch. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. But you put a little pinch of baking soda and you don't have to worry about the greens being tough. They are nice and tender because the baking soda, baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda tenderizes the greens. And you can cook them with um, ham hocks. You can cook them with uh, uh, salt pork. Uh, you, you, whatever your flavoring you choose to be, I cook, I, I like to cook mine with ham hocks, and that's why you saw the ham hocks. I cook mine with ham hocks, but I don't have to, you don't have to eat the ham hocks, you can just, that's just be for flavor, you can take the ham hock out if you want to. But this is really, really good food, and this is soul food. And uh, check out the chicken uh, recipe, and with fried chicken, this is excellent.